So it says the observed value is 0.2. Our null hypothesis has 0.1667. And our standard error is 0 0.03727, or if you rounded it up, something a little bit different. Probably doesn't make a huge difference. Our z score that we get is 0.89. We look up 0.89 in the table. And the area to the left is 0.8133. Do we know how do we know when to double it? When we have a not equal sign in the alternative hypothesis, that means we have a two tail test. Okay. That's when we double our tail area to get our p value. We always subtract by one row, right? Even if it's not equal. I mean, when it's greater than less than? No. You uh, subtract from one if, you, if your z score ends up being positive, mm -hmm. you need to get the tail area, which is going to be to the right. If your z-score is negative, the thing you look up in the table is your tail area. Okay. Okay, so if you think of the z-table, when you get a negative z-score, yeah. the, the table always gives you the area to the left. Negative z-score, the area to the left is your tail. Okay. Positive z-score, the area to the left is not your tail. You want the area to the right, so you have to do 1 minus um, these ones here. Uh, these are the sampling questions here. I only have three on the test. You'll probably have like four. Okay. Number 50. It says Major League Baseball wishes to conduct a survey of its players. Instead of trying to create a list of all the players from all the teams, MLB decides to randomly select four of their 30 baseball teams they will survey all of the players on the four selected teams. What kind of sampling is this? So don't shout out your answer. Think about it, and I will write up what the possible sampling methods are. We just learned this yesterday, so it might be a little shaky on it. Okay, we have simple random sampling. We have stratify. We have cluster. And we have systematic. So, it's 
instead of trying to create a list of all the players, they're going to randomly select four out of the 30 baseball teams, and then they're going to select all the players uh, on those 40 teams, and on those four selected teams. What kind of sampling is that? SRS, stratified, cluster, or systematic? Cluster, cluster sampling. Cluster sampling. Okay, number 51. It says, are there questions on that though? 51. A company wants to survey its employees. The company takes a master list of everyone in the company and randomly selects 100 of them for the survey. What kind of sampling is this? I want simple random. And the key <coughs> clue there is that it says master list of everyone. Okay. So if it has you have a roster of everyone or just a list of everyone, then you can do simple random sampling. 52. A toll bridge wants to survey the drivers who use the bridge. Instead of trying to ask all the drivers, they decide to stop every tenth car that passes through the toll booth for the driver's opinions. What kind of sampling is this? Systematic. That'd be systematic. And stratified sampling is the one where you have uh, different groups in the population with a certain proportion, and you select your sample so that the proportions of your sample match the proportions of the population. All right, and then the remaining questions, uh, I just have a few here, but you're going to have maybe 10 of them. On the, uh, on the final exam, and they're all questions from before the midterm, or mostly from before the midterm, and they're going to just kind of ask conceptual questions, no calculations involved, things like this. Okay, uh, so it says, number 53, a bar chart is used for what kind of data? A bar chart. The answer is categorical data. Bar chart is used for categorical data. Okay. What else is used for categorical data? the exact word that came out of my mouth here. <laughs> Watch the video. <laughs> what? 
tells us how much we expect y to change yeah, when we increase x by 1. Yeah. Regression line always passes through what point? <laughs> always passes through x bar and y bar. Is this going to be the hardest section of the test? <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. So you might want to just review some uh, quizzes, maybe. Yes. Yeah, some quizzes. Quiz and quiz questions. So quizzes were um, <laughs> a lot of calculations. <laughs> These are kind of conceptual things, all right? But the quiz questions, maybe, huh? Yeah, that could help, all right? Uh, probability, if probability of A and B happening together is zero, then that means A and B are mutually exclusive, mutually exclusive okay? Um, if A and B are independent, that means what? It is not mutually exclusive. <laughs> okay, if A and B are independent, it means they're not mutually exclusive, that's true. If A and B are independent, it means what? Probability of A given B is equal to zero. Zero. <laughs> 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 probability of A. So oh, if yeah, A and B are independent, the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A. Um, if A and B are mutually exclusive, probability of A given B would be zero. Okay. <laughs> Don't just shout out answers, all right? <laughs> um, so, so, okay. So you, it sounds like you have a little bit of brushing up to do, okay? For quantitative data, if there's only one peak in the histogram, how would we describe the shape of the distribution? Unimodal. Unimodal. Unimodal, unimodal right? One peak means unimodal. If there's two peaks, it means bimodal, bimodal all right? If, um, if it's, uh, okay, if you've got a bunch of, most of your data is over here and you have some outliers that are much bigger, but none that are smaller. So if you have outliers much bigger, but none smaller, that'd be right skewed. Yes. All right. And if you have uh, about the same to the right as you do to the left, that'd be symmetric. Okay. What measure of center is not heavily influenced by extreme outliers? So what are the measures of center that we were talking about? The median. The median or? The mean. Okay. So two measures of center, median and the mean. Which one is not influenced by extreme outliers? Median. The median. Okay. What else can we say about the median? Median is the midpoint where half are larger and half are smaller. What do we? What can we say about the mean? The, the mean is the balancing point. The mean. Uh, the mean is the one where you add up all the numbers and divide by how many you have. Okay. All right. How do we feel? Better. Yeah, okay, so Q1 and Q3, those are your tiles, things like that, so, um, okay, so, good luck as you study, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, on Tuesday, all right? Okay, it's been a pleasure.